Hello and welcome to BMAD in Revit tutorials. Today we will talk about roof details in 120 and 15 scale. On my channel you can find a series of tutorials on modeling roof elements as well as how to calculate the amount of materials needed to build a roof. You can also find tutorials on modeling roof elements in the descriptions and comments of this video. I will just share with you what the final drawings of the roof construction looks look like with details as well as how you can make a presentation like this. On my channel you can find tutorial on drawing a balcony detail where you can see how to make fill regions with fill patterns for details of different scales as well as how to make line types with different thicknesses for different scales. I will share the link of that tutorial in the description below also. And the method will be the same with, it, with, with this detail also. So I suggest you to watch that tutorial uh, before start with this one. Okay, here you could see the final drawings that we will get till the end of this tutorial. And now I'm going to floor plan where I will open the section view. Here I used a call out tool to select the detail and from 3D view I will show you how our uh, roof detail looks like. Alright, I opened the by view, by section view and using section box we will we will cut the part of the roof that we want to see only as you can see here we have model completely finished model for construction project of classic villa and with this model now you can create any presentation you want 2d or 3d all right, now uh, using callout tool, I will create a new, uh, new detail view for this tutorial. All right, and now I will unhide, sorry, I will hide all, all unnecessary elements, such as uh, levels and grid lines. I will change the scale. Okay, I will crop a little bit this view. I will hide all uh, unnecessary elements that we don't need for this detail presentation. As you can see here, we have cut uh, fill patterns and they are very small in this. Uh, level of detail in the scale so that's the reason why I said to you first to watch the tutorial about balcony detail where I showed how to create fill regions for different scales and uh, line types for different scales also now I open the detail of the roof that I've created before just to show you the difference between field patterns and between uh, detail level descriptions, tags and dimensions. Now I will use this detail as a reference. Now using a fill region I choose the uh, line bytes because our construction elements will be wider than the lines of the cut lines of the our construction elements will be wider than other elements other layers will be uh, thinner all right and from here you can you can see i have already created fill regions for different scales and this is my template that I use for different projects. 
all right i will now i'll choose the different line white and uh, different fill region for uh, thermal insulation and now uh, the method is the same like with the balcony detail we will use fill regions and later we will use tag uh, type tags or uh, material or mark tags for selecting the descriptions of this detail the important things thing is here to create fill region for different scales uh, in this case it will be scale 120 and uh, to create different types uh, different line types for different scales the thicknesses of the lines will be different also for example for scale of 150 one, uh, 20 or 15 if you uh, want to g get a good presentations when you print on when you create pdf formats uh, you should create this kind of line types and fill regions for different scales all right now I use here some uh, detail items uh, that these are items that will be uh, that will repeat in in uh, our details so I create a detail item family and I repeat it on other uh, detailed drawings also. I did the same with uh, with decking. As you can see, I have here a detail item family for decking. And here I will show you I have the one parameter for land so I can change it in the in the drawings in the way I want it all right I created I've created some uh, detail groups here with uh, those are simple groups with lines so only and I will duplicate them to our new drawings. All right. Now I will hide these elements because I'm going to use here a fill region. Alright, all these are fill region. I did this to show you uh, a new method, a new way to create, a new different way to create details. Uh, usually I prefer to model all layers, all elements in the, especially when we do the construction projects, because of uh, amount of materials. When we want to calculate automatically amount of materials, we should create, we need to create uh, every layer. And here I have one detail item more. These are joints between a metal sheet. And I create them as a, a detail item because it will repeat on the other details. Uh, regarding to the roof okay I will duplicate these two all right the, those are 
detail item for dividing the model uh, parts that we don't want to be visible all right i will do the same with these groups here i will select them and i will copy them to our those, those groups are created with uh, lines with detail lines all right and these methods will repeat i will uh, duplicate this uh, detail items also for dividing the for showing the end of the detail uh, okay now I have a few elements here that I want to hide for this detail presentation. Okay, now we we can go to tagging. We can start with tagging. All right. And one by one you can tag them. Here you can use the type tags and uh, all names with, with materials will appear here directly when you tag the... This is custom tag, so I will later add the, the names of the, of the field region here I used here. Okay, this method will repeat with all elements here. I make this part of the video faster because the uh, or steps will repeat. Now I'm copying the names. Uh, it's better to use a type tag. So uh, when you tag them, uh, the name uh, or description of the elements will appear automatically. Okay, this, these steps of adding the tags and names for material layers will repeat. And now uh, we will pass to uh, renaming the detail we created. Okay, that's the detail. Now I will show you how to create a detail. Uh, with one five scale by duplicating the existing one. All right, now we can delete all tags from this one five scale detail. And we will crop the view to show the part of the roof that we need for this detail. All right, we will left only the details that uh, are visible. All right, and now I'm going to add the tags. It's the same as in the 120 uh, detail. But just to repeat one more time, it was better to use type tags for this detail you will create the names with materials and other layers and when you use them uh, it, it it will be easier to create these tags i'm doing now now you can see i changed the shape of the uh, view crop it's circular now and it's going to look uh, better on our uh, layout presentation or sheet presentation all 
All right. We will add a small text here. If you want, you can create these elements with uh, detail item family. So when you tag them, the name of the material will appear automatically. All right, I'm changing the name here. I'm adding the name here of the roof element. These names are in my uh, mother original tongue. It is Bosnian. Oh, but the method is the same. All right, I will add a few uh, spot elevation. All right. And that's it. These uh, are images that I find on the internet site of manufacturer for this metal sheets and I'd add them to make a presentation of the roof uh, looks better. It is not only because of the better appearance of the drawing but uh, because of the clarity our goal is to create a drawing that will be clearer to those who will read it. And that's why I add uh, these images uh, on this on this detailed presentation. Uh, dear friend, that's all uh, about this uh, detailed drawing. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe and to share my works with your friends and colleagues. See you in the next tutorial.